Over the past 30 years, I've been devoting my life to animal rescues in the south of England. If this roof collapses, we're both going to be in mighty big trouble. <coughs> Never has British wildlife been more under threat. Run, Alex. He's going to slip. People and animals are increasingly coming into conflict. This is within a mile of the M25. Ah, oh, stress. Oh, it was close. <laughs> After 16 years of Wildlife SOS on the television, this is our second series of Wildlife SOS online. In this episode, an unlucky fox needs freeing from a fence. Right, I've seen so many where they get their legs trapped and I fail to understand how they do it. A sparrowhawk leads us on a wild goose chase. Whoa. And a hedgehog finds itself in a sticky situation. In 36 years, first time we've ever seen anything like this. This is just horrendous. It's early evening and I'm on a call out to rescue a fox stuck in a fence. Entanglements are a common sight at wildlife aid and a grasper and a set of cutters should be all I need. Right, too much kit in the car, it's now in a mess. Hello. Hiya. Have you been there long, do you know? Well, or? I've only seen him there the last hour or so, but right, I don't okay. think he could have been there quite a while. He's down at the back here. All right, fella. He tried to help him and he just started snarling at us, you know. He's <laughs> covered in flags. Right, my boy. Come on. Can you just, he won't come anywhere near you. If you could just stand here like that, steady that with that hand and put your thumb there. Oh, it's going to have a couple of holes in your fence. Oh, so right. He doesn't know he's free yet because I've got his back legs still. Yeah. But... <laughs> right, okay. All right, fella. Right, so that was quite easily done. It's a young cub. He is a young one. I don't know if that leg's broken or not. It might just be very... All right, fella. We're going to get you home and get all those flags off for a start. Yeah. Looks like he's got a wound on his tail, actually, which possibly caused it in the first place. Yeah. Right, we're getting back fast so the vets can look at him. Right, little Foxy, let's get you to the hospital. <coughs> right. Right, fella, sorry, but this is... I don't really want to get bitten, come on. Okay. So, I guess the best thing is to knock him out before we do anything. Okay. I don't need to get it set. Right. This is all in there. I think this might have done a constriction move, but I don't think the leg's broken. It's through to the bone on there, it's through to the tendon at least. I'll have a look at that tomorrow. Absolutely yuck. Blowflies are probably my least favourite creatures. There are just millions and millions of flags on here. They're now just spraying everywhere very liberally with F10 because it Although we've got millions of eggs off it, I suspect there's still hundreds of thousands left and we don't want them turning into maggots overnight. So the idea is to keep a maggot free tonight until they've got time to knock her out and operate tomorrow. We're up bright and early the next morning, but before we could do anything, we were called away on a rescue to a sparrowhawk that had become trapped in a warehouse. Hi. I had no idea what to expect, so we went in and had a look round before deciding on a plan. There he is, sitting right there. Oh, yeah. Right there. What you'd ideally want to do is get two nets, one on either side of him there, go up, pincer him like that, and then you can work out what you're going to do. We were soon joined by Sam, a volunteer and a skilled climber. I quickly filled him in on the situation. So we can have one forklift with a cage in it, so one of us can go up there. Yeah. And then one of us probably will end up sort of static, either standing at the top of one of these or whatever, and we'll just push him between the two of us. 
So there's one for you, young man. Right. This is going to be worse than a needle in a haystack, isn't it? As soon as we do that, there he goes. He's in the top corner opposite me. Weird, they won't go down, they go up. And they hate yeah, coming down. Them. Whether it'll come towards you, I don't know. Yeah, he's directly above your net. So in this corner, coming back. Top shelf on top of those boxes. Up on those. Yeah, there he goes. It's like it just disappears. He's over here. <laughs> oh. Anybody got sight? Yeah, I can see him. My net's half a foot too short to get him. He's just above your head. We were getting nowhere fast, but luckily I had a plan B. My favourite place, up high, which I hate. Stop there, stop, stop, stop. Go all the way down. Sam, you come down and come here. Yeah, all right. If you come up here, in with me. All right. He's on a red beam, but if we go either side of the red beam carefully, yeah. we might get him pincered in the middle. See the, I see the tail. Okay, so yeah, I'll right. be the one that's he'll be flying that way. Side, right? no, I can't see him, so I'm going to say level with you. Yeah. And when we, you say go up, we'll go up together. One, two, three. Yeah. Got him? Yeah, keep yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Keep the net there, keep the net there, keep the net there, keep the, keep the net there. Yeah. Keep the net there, keep the net there. <laughs> right, now we both come back together really <laughs> slowly. Let's let him down on the ground for me. Let him down to go down yeah. there. Oh. <laughs> it looked like we were going to be here for a while. Back at the centre, Emma was giving a full examination to last night's trapped fox. OK, let's clean those wounds. After shaving and cleaning the wounds, she prepared the fox for surgery. The first step was to remove all the dead skin. It's going to be tight, but it's going to close. Before very carefully suturing the wound closed. This is the last stitch done, so let's run the eyes off. Oh, I need to clean. The wounds were covered in an antibiotic cream before bandaging to prevent infection. Okay. And after coming round, the fox was moved back into one of our pens to recover. back at the warehouse and we were still smarting from our okay. earlier miss. Bloody neck twisted just as we had him in there and he slid out the bottom corner. That's the theory. Anybody see him anywhere? Yeah, he's here. I oh, don't do anything for a minute because I oh, need yeah. to get sat in my neck. Where are you, Sam? I'm in the middle. Right, you want to come down? I'll stay with you. Stop. Ready? Yeah? Yeah? Sure? Oh, <laughs> That's the way to get him without any doubt. Charge! I mean, the closer we are to him in a way, the easier it is, quicker we can get to him. But Go! It's glad to fur whatever happens here. So on the next rescue, we need one of these things, don't we? Yeah, you know. Wherever we go, we'll take this on a rescue. Right, cool. Well, there he is. that for me, did you? You let him do it. I have to crawl through the middle. Right, let's take him out of the car and have a look, guys. Luckily, the staff directed us into an office that would be perfect for our needs. Little office, that's ideal. <laughs> the bird appeared to be a youngster and had been stressed and worn out by flying around the roof. We decided to take it back to the centre to give it a bit of a rest before release. Now he escapes. <laughs> right, bird secure. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello, everyone. <laughs>
bought you a sparrow hawk. Yay! Oh, sweetie. You look pissed off. Jono, one of our vets, checked the bird's weight. 110. Before moving it into one of our raptor boxes for an overnight stay. We get a lot of strange cases at Wildlife Aid, but the appalling sight that greeted us the next day was a first for all of us. RSPCA brought it in after they think the bins were knocked over out the back of a beauty salon and the hot wax that they use has got stuck onto the headphone. Oh, that is just beyond vicious, isn't it? Yeah. We decided to anaesthetise the hedgehog to see the extent of the damage. I got it. So there's his front foot, which I actually thought when I started was broken, so I thought that was it, but it's not, that's just a hunk of wax. His front foot is glued or waxed onto his body somehow. So Emma's just trying to cut some of the hair off. It's like our own internal waxing salon here. It's a matter of pulling the hedgehog's skin back away from the wax as hard as we can. So Emma can get the chance of getting the scissors in there. And very slowly that leg's coming back. You can see that it's going to separate in a minute. Okay, I mean, it could, that could be a lot worse, to be honest. There's one leg. 36 years, first time we've ever seen anything like this. This is just horrendous. That foot's a bit burnt there, down there, isn't yeah. it? One of our vets, Angela, arrived to help us to remove the wax as quickly as possible. Well, we're all going to be here till midnight tonight, I can see that. It's going to take hours of chipping away at this. So we've got two vets working diligently now <laughs> trying to get this off. It's a big ask, to be honest. I don't know what's wax and what's body, isn't it? Mm. Oh, big hunk off there, girls. Wax, oh, look at that. Mm. Well, if you've got the big hunk out of the way, look at that. Oh, he's going to be so sore when he wakes up. Suddenly, the weakened hedgehog took a turn for the worse. Is he breathing now, guys? I don't know. How are going? So we're just breathing for him a few times, see if we can get him back to breathing. Come on, fella. Your heart's yep, still going? Is it? Yep. But we've still got more work to do, which we can't leave it on there because it'll all just stick together again if we don't get it all off now. It looks a bit better now than he did when he came in, but mm. still a way to go. With most of the wax removed, we rubbed the exposed skin with a special oil and then covered it with a medicated powder. The idea of this is just so he doesn't get all stuck up when he's trying to curl up tonight. He's going to be so uncomfortable. After coming round for the anaesthetic, the hedgehog was moved into one of our special incubators. We all had our fingers tightly crossed for his recovery. Whilst our hedgehog was recovering, it was good news for our sparrowhawk. After a night's rest, it was time for it to have its second chance back in the wild. Releases will always be the best part of our work. Six weeks later, and it was time for our rescued fox to step back into the wild. The wound had healed incredibly well, and she was very feisty. Just a little scab there. After a final sign-off from the vets, it was time to take her back home. Well, this is the fox that was entangled on a fence with a really severely damaged leg. Um, it's been a long recovery, so it's a great success story for us. He's been in for just over six weeks. We didn't thought when he came in that he wasn't going to make it at all. Um, but now he's ready to go back out to the wild, so pretty stunning stuff. There you go, there we are, get your bottom in. There's a good fella now, wasn't that easier than grasping you? Yes, it was. Now we can take him home. All right, Foxy Docs. All right, 
box. Hello. Okay, if I put some food just down yeah, in the corner. Yeah, they and can then come in over there. Cool. Yeah. Right, fella, this is where we're going to let you go. Now, are you going to go out now? Look, you didn't want to go in there. Now you're here, you don't want to go out again, do you? Hey. Come on, off you go. We're going to have to do the tilting trick to get you out. Don't go in that silly fence again. Wow. When they go, they go. And it's all very quick. Later that evening, it was time for a very special release. Well, this is an incredible night for me particularly because we're releasing the waxed hedgehog when he came into us. It's amazing he survived. The heat of the wax, his body being totally contorted, and the fact that he didn't drown in the hot wax as well. So quite stunning. He's absolutely fine now and he's going back to a lovely garden. We know there's hedgehogs in the area, so he'll have friends to be with. Um, we'll see how he does. Hiya. Um, the hedgehog sends his apologies and I send my apologies. I've had a day that I wouldn't want to live again through for about another 10 years. I never know from one minute to the next what's going to happen, to be honest. Boglet. No more beauty salons for you. Brand new home with no wax available. Yeah. Might take a few minutes, they sometimes do. So I shall sit on my box and have a relapse. This is where we sit here like lemons till about midnight. Hedgehogs uh, will probably overwinter about 200 this year and they'll eat their way through 15,000 cans of dog food. Come on, Poggy. Just waking up now. Releases are always incredibly rewarding and it's wonderful to see an animal that would have otherwise endured a horrible death free to live life once again. This job is full of ups and downs, but we will never lose sight of our goal to give injured wildlife a second chance. If you like our videos, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button. If you want to help us save wildlife, please donate Every pound given will help save our threatened wildlife.